dispatch from that 1950 meter marker. Impreniakis and Golden High looking to be restrained towards the back of the field. With braided breath gets a slap down the shoulder to ensure she goes off to lead them. Leolip Jets moved up second. Flying Fellow on a good rain with the Blinkers is in third position. The Grey is Jamal, one out and back. Only four lengths off the tempo, Jamal. Tell the tale. Head into the bit. Races six lengths off them. Golden High is second to last in those blue and red silks. Emprinyakis has been switched off at the end of the line. There's five lengths top to tail. On to their journey at the 1300 meter marker and with bated breath on a loose rein by a length and a tail. Leoloop Jet, the Gauteng Raiders back in second on the right hand side. White blinkers of Flying Fellow. The grey is Jamal in fourth position. Tell the tale, black sleeves and cap is racing in fifth. Half a length away, Golden High. Let's just clock across. That's the current favourite, number four, Golden High. A two rand seventy and one rand fifty the place at this stage. Towards the inside, Emperoniakas. With bated breath, doing the buying and calling the shots by this length and a quarter. Flying Fellow and Leoloop Jet, they ready to spring into action, a joint second. Tell the tale, hasn't been asked any questions just yet at the rail. Then comes Jamal Impreniakas, whereas Golden High has been asked the question now. He gets one or two reminders, extreme right hand side. 400 to go with bated breath. Tell the tale looms towards the inside. Impreniakas, Golden Eye to the outside. Leoloop Jets also felt pressure. Flying Fellow, though, finds another gear at the 200. Golden High now ridden to respond. He's got a length to make up. Flying Fellow, here comes Golden High down the middle of the course. Golden High gets to Flying Fellow, who tries to rally back. Golden High, Flying Fellow in a terrific fight. Flying Fellow comes back. Golden High got there a neck from Flying Fellow. Emperoniakis, Leoloop Jet. Then came Jamal. Golden High has the final say. Just when Flying Fellow tries to come back, you'll see Golden High's got him cold, but Flying Fellow will not go away. Those last three or four strides, he rallies back. Golden High deserved second win from the 18 runs to date. Interesting enough, he was the first of the, the runners to come under fire at the top of the lane. Anthony Del Pesce asked him to stretch a bound, and he got there late on. Emperoniakas will stay on for that third check. Then came... Leolip Jet and Jamal. Leolip Jet closest to us, possibly just edging out Jamal. Tell the tale, moved up dangerously at the 400. We'll probably see him back in a mile next time out. 300 ago, Golden High, he gets his head in front and then Flying Fellow rattles back and at the same time, Golden High is running into the right-handed stick. So probably just should have won a little bit cosier, but once he gets right alongside Flying Fellow, that's when he just keeps his head in front. For a strider two, Flying Fellow looks to go right with him in this dogfight. But the money was down on Golden High. Well done to Sean Terry, Christopher Nickirk and Anthony Del Pesce. Greys are rocking and Golden High, the doubles home for the stable. Back to the studio. Two from two for trainer Sean Terry. Uh, we saw Greys are rocking earlier on for honour Christopher Nickirk. And this time it's Golden High, the well-related, well-bred uh, son of Trippy. And uh, he's been a one-time winner, surprisingly so, this uh, uh, far in his career. But he's notched up uh, a second career win. And uh, I think he's now seems to be a horse that's settling in nicely as a five-year-old. He is, he's, you know, he's a lot sounder now. Happy horse. Um, I must say, he didn't gallop on the grass, but Sean was quite confident he did enough work. I was doubtful, but I'm very happy he won. And he obviously shows a bit of ability. Just having a look at him uh, when he was uh, walking around the ring, he looked tremendously well. He looked very well, a little, little bit too well, and his coat was dappling, so I'm very happy, and he's obviously above average. Two from two, 100% strike rate, so you guys are certainly picking your spots. We are, no, it's nice, but let's hope it carries on. Give our best to Sean as well, Dijon. I'll do that, thanks. Well done to Sean and to Chris, and a good ride from Anthony. Well done, Dijon. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, let's get Anthony Delpesh in, uh, two winners today, and just having a look at your rides overall, you, you, you certainly take that. Yeah, I'm very happy with the day, you know. I, both my winners, I thought it was my best two rides. I thought this was my best ride today. It looked a competitive field, but 
I watched his last run and I thought if I ride a good race on him today, he could win. And that's exactly what happened. And well done to Dijon and to, to Sean and Mr. Finnekak. Thank you very much for the ride. At the top of the straight, you had to ask him early and you had to be pushing him all the way to the line. To, uh, just having a look at, even when you got to that other horse, he, he seemed to have his head in front of you. But then you had to ask the horse and he found again. Yeah, I think uh, I got there a little bit soon on him and then he, he, he looked around. He thought he had won his race and he, he ran in t towards the inside, towards the other horse. And it looked like the other horse was going to have me. But then he saw the other horse and he, he put his head down and went on. Well, it's two for you. That's it for the day. Well done, your bunch. Safe trip home. Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you very much to the Terry team. They, they're firing, so I appreciate the ride. And to my sponsor, Aventure, thank you. Anthony Delpes, two for him. This time, trainer Sean Terry. Well done to you, Sean. Number four, Golden High, has notched up his second career win. And also, well done to owner and breeder, Chris Fanikak. 4-7-3, it got pretty close for that fought position. And the best cameraman on course has given it to number two. Four, seven, three, and two. That's the way they finished race number seven.